amazing things happening to the channel and this podcast is one of them. Before we begin, I want to say a massive thank you to my boy Jojo Wi-Fi that made it possible. So with that being said, I hope everyone will enjoy and let's jump right into it. This is a trial from the heavens above. Hey, Voice and Chan YouTube, my name is Charlie and welcome to this Devil May Cry 5 podcast with the one and only Jojo Wi-Fi. How are you, dude? Hey, man, it's good to be here and I really appreciate you having me on the podcast. I mean, it's so awesome that we're finally able to do this and honestly, I I've never expected that we're going to do this because if we look at it with the, the way of the numbers, like you have 8,000, I have almost 300 and you are there from the very beginning for me for the channel uh supporting it it's it's awesome what you're doing man yeah i appreciate that as, but as much as i do i gotta be honest with you numbers aside i couldn't care less i'm actually a fan of Tuscelli's content use <laughs> those of you watching right who i've sent here just know that i watch this guy's content just on my own right so i appreciate being here but in all honesty I love what you're doing with the channel. I like your work, man. The very first time that you wrote you wrote a comment on my uh, on my videos, do you remember it was with the uh, I used the leaked footage in V, and yeah. uh, from the very first yeah, time you were so so <laughs> helpful. Like yeah, let's talk like, about that. It's it's very strange. Like what you see on a guy that just starting on YouTube and made a random video on okay. We both love DMC5, but there are so many other videos out there and you commented on my video and then you gave me advice, helped me and immediately I used it because I knew that I, I did something wrong with the um, uh, with the leaked footage, but uh, I told you, yeah. if you remember, like, uh, I was so excited to get the information out there and, and, and make right. the video and, you know. At as were we all. So let me touch base on that just for those of you who don't know what he's talking about. Essentially, what I like to do, and this is just me personally, I go to the DMC5 tab. There's an option for you to hit new uploads. And I check out everyone's DMC5 videos. I'm looking for new uh, content all the time. I'm just looking to see what everybody's up to. And I stumbled upon Tichelli's video. This is the first video I'd watched from him. And I really enjoyed the direction it was going in. He had made a video on V. And I like I like the thumbnail. I like the way he presented the information. And then as the video progressed, I seen him using leaked footage, which, as you guys know, a lot of us content creators got struck for that. So what I mean by that is Capcom didn't want that footage out there just yet. Obviously, it was a leak, um, but they were handing out strikes. I myself personally got hit with a strike. I believe Half Pint did. Um, Devil Never Cry, if you guys are familiar with those channels as well. We all took a hit for that um, as much as we were eager to share new Devil May Cry 5 information. Capcom was less enthusiastic about it. Now, when I seen Tisselli upload this, I had to let him know. I said, you know what? I like this guy's content. I like what he's doing. And quite frankly, I would hate for him to get a strike so early. Um, so, yeah, I let him know. He changed it. And I think he made it like he edited it that day. That's a word. Yeah, edited. yeah, exactly. But he fixed it and he was good to go. I, I again, I enjoy, I genuinely enjoy this guy's content. If you guys aren't already subscribed, I highly recommend you go and do that now. This is my man. You guys, you guys got to get there early. He's gonna blow up soon. I'm telling you. Oh my God, that man I already know that means so much to me. It means the world that you're saying that, and I, I really hope that you're enjoying the content and not saying this from the friend perspective i really hope you're not doing that but thank you so much thank you so much for that no problem the, the guy is as humble as he is a good content creator i honestly believe that i don't believe i mean like i said i had no, i have no reason to say that outside of that i i watched your videos um frequently as, as a viewer as a viewer not just a content creator i watch it as a viewer i am i am there and you you already know that that's the same on my side with it that's the same on my side on every single video much appreciated honestly yeah right. so if you get do you do you i have a question for you before we get started go on go now on. My, my question is do you intend to make your own discord server at some point well um right at the moment i'm enjoying so much how the the whole discord thing i wasn't familiar with it until we, we talked and and gave me this huge advice mm -hmm. a few months ago but so much team i mean 
team Wi-Fi is so awesome and we share so many things from all the uh, different sections that we have, the theory section, the general discussion, the uh, uh, the memes, official DMC events, uh, <laughs> the food. Can't, <laughs> it's, uh, that's you awesome. can't forget the memes. That, 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 yeah, that's I gotta so say. Awesome. And, and just so you guys know, you guys can suggest what you'd like and participate in my Discord as well. Um, the food section, actually shout out to Resor. I don't know if you'll end up watching this, but this was a request from him before the whole drama hit. Really? He actually really? requested that was, me. That was a yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and even though I was at odds with him and I wasn't particularly fond of some of the things he was doing and I was aware of it at that time, um, I still was a man of my word because he requested it and I said I'd do it. So it's in there. That's actually, you, you guys owe him that if you guys like participating in that section of the Discord. <laughs> that was all his idea. Um, now, now that you mentioned I know we we had a discussion already about it, but regarding the whole the whole thing that happened, I, I saw on the Discord as well. You said to all of us to go back to the channel for Resort because he made a an, an apology video and went out mm -hmm. and said I did all these crazy things and and all this stuff. Is there something that you want to share that you want to say Just to the people that so. listen to this? Um, podcast yeah. right now regarding the whole matter and how how do yeah. you want it to go like so without so to, let's start from the beginning so my thing was is if you guys um for you guys you don't see what goes on behind the scenes but i had actually spoke to chichelle on this uh quite some time ago about the resource situation before half pint dropped his exposed video before all that other stuff happened before i dropped my exposed video I didn't use names. I just essentially told him that someone was giving me a hard time in the community. And I also want to just show how supportive he's been about the whole situation. And he's got a similar perspective as a lot of you. He basically told me to just focus on myself and that he appreciates the content. So, you know, thank you again for that. That was very genuine of you. And the only words I want to leave you with on that particular subject is that I feel like his apology was sincere, though it may, the conclusion might have been drawn, you know, from losing his fan base and some of those subscribers from what happened. But regardless of how he came to that conclusion, I feel like his apology was sincere. And whether you as a community decide to forgive him or not, that's entirely up to you. But I personally am over it. And despite everything that's happened, I did enjoy some of our conversations. Um, you know, prior to the whole fiasco. I think he's a decent dude. I mean, man, so. I, it's something I wrote it on the video that you made, your exposed video, let's say it that way. I feel like these days, drama is the easiest thing, especially on YouTube. People right. try to get something out of it, but I feel right. as I a, as a someone in the community and as someone that, like, like a content, from a content creator perspective, I, I feel that this whole thing it hurts the community and not it it's does. not something that we all benefit we can benefit out of it i mean obviously it's something that he did and right. it's it's right on his side like it's, it's a thing that he made probably he has regretted but i think that the, the whole thing is not giving us anything else than more i could like create more problems instead of solving them and it hurts the community and for sure. Definitely cry as a game. That's that's my perspective. I, I don't want to expand more on that or don't yeah, I'm not no, mention it. I just yeah. want to clear the situation out, clear, yeah, clear the air out and, and the whole that. thing. I'm not particularly crazy about it. I'm glad we touched base on it. But yeah, exactly. I couldn't. That's a good summation of the whole situation. All right. So leaving aside this, I, j I have to ask, Matt. I, I, yeah. I wrote the comment yesterday. Uh, now that I have the chance to get an answer from, but I want, to, I want you already know what I'm talking about. But but, what were you thinking while you were making the Dante meets <laughs> physics video yesterday, man? I, 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 I can't. I, I'm trying to digest the whole thing. I'm still trying to digest the whole thing. But I mean, so, the, the new intro is fire. Is is absolute fire. I, I wrote it. I really I really liked it. But what were you thinking? Why why make a video on Dante's physics, especially on the private parts? 
Yeah. So I, I I knew this was coming. You did not prep me for this prior to making this. But <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to come as as like yeah. as genuine as no for sure. So you definitely like blindsided me with that question. But the he, for context, he's talking about my most recent video titled Dante's uh, DMC Five Dante's Update. Now, the video's premise is basically about there's certain physics in the game that are not present it's mia it's completely missing so i actually was you know like i said i look around for everything and everyone's feedback and basically there's a good portion of the community that's complaining that dante doesn't have cock jiggling mechanics or physics (laughs) his cock doesn't jiggle when he moves and this is problematic because if you look at the dmc5 main trailer we can see when nico throws the uh uh lady's weapon Trish's boobs jiggle. So there's boob (laughs) physics and there's a good portion of the community asking where's Dante's cock jiggling mechanics or physics. Um, And as far as where the video came from, there's two reasons I wanted to make it, right? The first is because the whole Resora fiasco was, uh, and and I hate to, you know, bring this back to that, but the whole thing was rather depressing for the community, like you said. Not Mm -hmm. everyone was ecstatic about it. There's a lot of people who maliciously just wanted to sink their teeth into it. But I'd say that there is at least, uh, I I would say at least 60 to 70% of the people just hated the fact that this was a thing or even discussed. Um, They, someone even went so far as to make a video. Um, I think his name is Alucard. I'm not sure, but if you're watching this, basically he made a video and it more or less entails that my videos are an escape for him. Like he has a funeral that he has to attend rather soon. And then he clicks on my videos um, only to find this. Right. So yeah. he, my videos are an escape for him. And he's, you know, clicking on it only to find more trouble, more drama. He doesn't want it. Right. And I think a lot of the community was behind that as well. So, so as silly to- as it may sound, I made this to be more lighthearted. I wanted to bring a laugh to the community. It's obviously a joke. I don't care Dante's meat chickles or not. It was just to give everybody a good laugh because honestly, we needed to unwind after that. And then the other reason is because if you look, the community is pretty stale right now. We got Resident Evil 2 remake. We got a lot of stuff coming out, which is great, but there's not a whole lot on DMC5 right now. So I thought I'd, you know, respark the community, get that hype moving again. So there's two reasons for that. It's a good question. And this first option, I mean, you definitely succeeded, especially with me. And also, if you if you guys go down to the uh, comment section and actually read the comments, you can really I I, I genuinely think that everyone that watched the video cracked a laugh at least for, for <laughs> 10 seconds or, or even more on the video yeah. i mean i was like i was i was i was at work and i was trying to to do something and and i <laughs> I, I was like for for a minute i was trying to compose myself and like what, what why why this video I mean, but, right. uh, but really it was really it was really something it was really something different it was different and it made me laugh which as you said, it was the first, uh, the, the aim of making this video was changed like the whole scenery. And I think you definitely succeeded with that. I mean, you did it and that was absolutely awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I, I don't know, I don't know if we managed to get the message to the developers and maybe <laughs> at the final release and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have this. I will definitely be the one that will say that Jojo made this possible. <laughs> Honestly, I would have mixed feelings. Um, it's a it's a tad bit. Yeah, it's interesting. It's what's even more funny for me is when I read a comment that thinks this is serious and says something along the lines of like, why is this serious? Why is it that detrimental to the game that we have this? <laughs> I mean, I, just I can't think, I think my problem, like, I, I don't think the problem, I mean, the aim with my video, this uh, videos is to have a little bit more street tone or may, people may not laugh that much, but that was the difference with your video. It made me laugh. And also I was, um, I was having fun because it was DMC content, but it was also something really funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that, that's why I really I, loved it. I, I I wanted to kind of take the the angle of the channel a little bit different too. 
So like I people know me for one of two things. You either like the theory crafting portion of it or I bring you DMC5 updates. Honestly, every theory under the sun has been covered. Um, and as far as news, we got nothing there. I just want to continue to bring DMC uh, content. And so I had to take it another direction. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, there's just there's only so much you can talk about. Like I said, that's the other aspect of it. So I thought I'd bring some life into the topic. We gonna got something soon here, though, with Adi Shankar's. Uh, I don't know if Netflix is going to purchase it, but basically the whole Castlevania crossover or multiverse. Yeah, yeah, I made like, a video I'm ex- about I'm it. I'm excited to talk about that. I'm excited for when that comes around. And I will have um, a link in the description on, on this video for someone that may not uh, right. saw the video. Uh, but I have two questions because based on a few things that you said before. What yeah. is the theory ca- crafting? I mean, for me personally, and I love for. And I know for a fact for all the other DMC5 creators out there, you are Mm. one of the best in making theory videos. And I always wanted to ask you, how do you do this, man? How do you do this? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm spending, I'm literally spending to create a a theory, try to make everything, um, to to make sense for someone to hear. And immediately when when we will hear the uh, theory dislike the video, (laughs) <laughs> we'll, we'll have people for I, no reason I, dislike the video but i don't want to give them another reason to but how do you do this how how do you prepare so here's the thing and this is um where i get either a lot of love or a lot of hate and then even more so there's a big misunderstanding of what happens on the channel so there is about a handful of those videos that are actually just strictly uh pure research uh ideas that I personally identify with. So I had a very small fan base after the Virgil is yours in video, which was my second DMC five video. Um, but it was my own idea and I poured a lot of thought and effort into it. And I grew and I had a small fan base off of it. Um, the, the video had gotten like 80,000 views its first week, but all my DMC five fans were so loyal. Like I would, I would continue to upload different ideas. Like I covered Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I would keep putting out Monster Hunter World videos, and they were so loyal. They just kept coming back. Like, hey, are you gonna make another DMC Five video? And I kid you not, the only thing I told them was just like, hey, we only got one trailer, and I don't want it to come off as like I'm milking this situation. So I'm just not gonna do it. Like, there's just nothing else to talk about. So instead. What would happen is my audience would actually send me their ideas and they would ask me to cover them. So they would do their own research. They would get their own sources. Rather, um, you guys agree with the ideas, rather they don't. Mm -hmm. Um, And they would just ask me to cover them. And the channel was so small that I didn't see a problem with it. Now, the only reason I can't do that anymore is because someone brought up a very valid point, which is you have more people than just your subscribers watching. Meaning I might misinform people if they're watching my videos and don't know that this is just me covering fan theories, right? Because some of them I don't even personally identify with. That's why there's a conflict of interest in terms of like some ideas contradict the other ideas. They'll be like, well, is V Virgil or or is Virgil Urizen, right? So they're not entirely sure where to go with that. And that's just because, again, a lot of my fans send me stuff that they want me to voice. So you're saying that the whole thing started by, by like, I'm not going to say as a joke, but as something that you found with with a smaller fan base that was working, and then you mm. expanded on, like, can we say Exa- this? Like, yeah, so it's like, I mean, most of it was just like when you, you know, when you were a kid and you told uh, your mom to read you a story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I don't want it to sound like that because I'm not trying to patronize my audience. It was like some of these ideas I didn't necessarily care for, but my audience believed in it enough that I felt that I owed them that. So it's just like I was just covering ideas that people wanted. So it was easy for me to pump out videos every day because I'm not even putting really the research into it. And when I ask to credit them, they they usually refuse. Um, there's times or on a couple of occasions where I will shout them out or I'll you know, give credit to the idea. But a lot of times these guys don't want the spotlight, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. provided that they're okay with it. And I even have some of the conversations for the video ideas and stuff like that in my DMs today. 
maybe I'll put a video together as a shout out to all those people, provided that they want it again. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, another thing that you said before was, you, you said, I am identified with few things like, yes, you, I mean, for me, Jojo Wi-Fi is mostly a DMC5 channel. And right. it's also something that really worries me. Like, we, <laughs> as a content, and I wanted your opinion on it, and I wanted everyone else to hear it as well. We, as a content creators, because we, st I mean, I'm going to talk from my channel. Um, yeah. I started gaining more audience, and 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 I was working, back, and I'm still working on the DMC5 game. When the game will eventually come out, Mm -hmm. Do you feel that people will stop watching just because mm -hmm. we are identified as a DMC5 content creators? Or do you think that this is something that will change when we change the content? Like when, when a different game will come out and we yeah. start covering it? Like I'm afraid to cover something else just because... I mean, do you remember the video that I, I uploaded a video for Spider-Man PS4? Yes. And it was me swinging through the city. It was Let something me... that I really loved. And, yep. and <laughs> yeah, I mean, go on, go on. You, you got the question. You got the, you got the idea. Would, no, for ask, sure. Like... So a lot of people, I put a, I've poured a lot of thought into this and it used to bother me and I'm kind of at peace with it right now. So the thing is, is yes. I have built myself as a DMC5 channel and Devil May Cry will always be a staple for the channel. It's not going anywhere. I think a majority of my content for a good amount of time will all be more or less Devil May Cry related. Now there's a lot of directions that we can take this. Again, there's the, uh, the Castlevania uh, multiverse. There's Pinnacle of Combat, which is coming out. I don't even have an Android. I'm going to find a way to get an emulator <laughs> to play that. There's So so I'm going to continue with DMC content. As far as when DMC 5 is done and like everyone's had their fun out of it and it eventually, you know, kind of more so slows down is the best way to put it, right? I want to say the game's dying or when it dies, whatever. But I obviously expect to take a hit at least in views or, or whatever the case may be. I know there's a lot of people here that, are, that just want DMC5 info, right? Um, but I can pander to my audience for other Devil May Cry related topics. And I love Devil May Cry, so that works out for me. I do intend to, however, expand too. So that meaning... Um, are there any games theory. that you look... Uh most look forward to like after yeah. after we uh yeah pretty much done with dmc5 yeah so mortal kombat 11 kingdom hearts 3 and then right now we still got the resident evil 2 remake though that's not a whole lot of content for that specific one um just to touch base on the whole spider-man thing I don't think anybody got a lot of exposure for that there's very <laughs> few people like i even seen uh Shout out to Random Black Gamer. I was on his channel. Whenever he uploaded Spider-Man content, for whatever reason, he didn't get very many views for that either. There's not a lot of people that actually cared to watch that for some well, reason. I think, and the I think this is because the game is so big. Like, yeah, the, it, it's the same thing. It's the same thing that happened. I think with, and you can confirm this with DMC Five. When I first started, I think with the V video, it was one of the best videos that I ever made in terms of views it goes like 5,000 views and I think after this just because so many people started started pumping out videos uh, DMC5 right. related and like we divided so much the the audience I don't I don't know if this if this is a thing but that, that's how I think it all went down and it's the same case I think with Spider-Man PS4 yeah so that's a good point. There, there definitely. I guess that would make sense. The game's more. It's heavily more heavily saturated, and I would agree that yeah, the DMC Five community has been a little bit more. I would say there's a little bit more people participating. It's still rather small in the grand scheme of things, but that does make sense for sure. I mean, for sure, DMC Five is the is the biggest, and I think it will be the most successful game from the whole genre. I don't know if you... 
no i agree, agree with that but i think i agree wholeheartedly yeah based on, based on how the community of... based on how the community reacts and how they interact with all the videos and, and how passionate everyone is about it i think mm. it will be the most successful game that they ever made capcom ever made in terms of dmc let's let's hope so maybe it'll beat out monster hunter world we'll we'll see um, the other thing, too, is that I believe the writer for DMC, I don't know, I can't quote his name, basically said he feels like Devil May Cry 5 is his best work. Shout out to Silver D for sending me that resource. My man, if you're watching this, that was much appreciated. But yeah, he said this was his best work in terms of all the writing he's ever put together. So it might even be the best story we've seen yet so far from Devil May Cry. Not to say that they've heavily focused on that aspect of the game, but we can expect a lot more this time around. Nice, really nice. Another question, it has to do with Virgil. What's mm. the deal with Virgil? I mean, what is the special thing about this character? Why, why Dante, which is the main protagonist from all the games? I mean. Okay, Virgil is his brother, yes, right. but why do you prefer him, let's say... Over Dante? Over Dante. <laughs> yeah, so... Wait, 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 the... don't tell me, don't tell me <laughs> Virgil has the physics that that <laughs> just... <laughs> Virgil has... Actually, it's funny you say that. In the Devil May Cry reboot, it's actually heavily implied. It, it bas They basically say that Virgil has a bigger dick than Dante, so... <laughs> But, Jesus but that's, Christ. They do. I'm serious. They do. <laughs> but that's in the reboot. So it doesn't necessarily pertain. Hideaki Itsuno said he did want to take a lot of aspects from the reboot. Yeah, I was going to ask then, about the reboot. What, what are your and thoughts then, about it now? And then move that to Devil May Cry 5. He's actually using that a bit as a big reference point. So mayhaps we will see cock jiggling mechanics for Virgil, <laughs> but not Dante because his dick's smaller. Right? That might be. <laughs> I enjoyed the reboot. Or I enjoyed it. It, I don't, I wouldn't compare it to the main series, um, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, for those that don't know uh, what Jojo is talking about, the uh, the developers actually got, for the deluxe edition, the skin for Dante, the black skin for Dante is inspired, they said, from the reboot, the Dante Dante's reboot. So it's, yeah. it's actually pretty awesome. They yeah, did and that. just... Not just the, the alternative skin, um, but there's a lot of references and a lot of uh, the game's core mechanics that they'll be using from the reboot, according to them. The uh, As far as why I enjoy Virgil over Dante, it's they're quite the contrast, right? Obviously, the blue and red, that's one thing. And it's it, that's as simple as just like your preference in primary color. With the and, color? Yeah, I mean, that's just that's just the childish aspect of it. My first Devil May Cry game was actually the original Devil May Cry. And I played that when I was a kid. I, I want to say I was breaching middle school, if not around there, somewhere around there. And I remember after I played Devil May Cry 1, all I wanted to do, I would like try to emulate that. Like I wanted, I wanted to wear all my red clothes, you know, kind of. I thought that Dante's just his old overall aesthetic was so cool. And then when I got a chance to play DMC3 and I seen, I'm not even going to lie to you, it's literally as shallow as just purely aesthetics. And then I seen, you know, the blue trench coat, you know, the boots and more of like the uh, gothic era type uh, dressing. The way he dressed, the way he presented himself in the slick back hair was so cool to me. It was lit it's literally you... just that simple. So it's a nostalgic thing for me. It's just a nostalgic fanboy who remembers playing DMC3. And from that point on, I, it completely uh, overshadowed <laughs> my affinity towards Dante. It know, it's, just, been, it's, it's been 14 years. It's been, it's we're been a talking long about time, 14 man. years. I can DMC3, but have you, have you ever considered, and I will, I will explain why I say that, have mm -hmm. you ever considered in, in making your hair white, like Virgil's? <laughs> and I will explain why I say that. If you go... Go and follow Jojo Wi-Fi on Instagram. You will find a picture that he looks straight like Virgil, but with the difference that the hair is black. So yeah. have you ever considered in making the hair white? You know what? Um, if you guys if you guys are familiar with these talking about a lot of people and I and I said that, so that's a hundred percent intentional. Like I tried to transfer that and emulate that in real life. I completely try to steal that dude's aesthetic, like Virgil in real life. I do. 
Um, and a lot of people said, hey, man, that looks good. Um, would you dye your hair white? And the, and the thing is, is I have considered it numerous times. I have definitely wanted to do that. The only reason I have it is because I feel like my family would absolutely shun me. I could never go to a family gathering ever again. I totally feel you, dude, on that. I totally feel you. <laughs> yeah. It's when you take a decision, especially if it's something in terms of your appearance and you change it and the whole family attacks you yeah. like why you do why do you did that i mean it's, why do you, you 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 don't need you to dye this? your hair white it'll be white when you're old it's like okay all right you're fine but for for a gamer's perspective or for someone else that shares the 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 same like mentality that played the game and knows who virgil is understand why someone takes the whole thing uh, that's far as to dyeing the hair the same color as the character that they laugh so much yeah. So yeah, okay. Another thing that I wanted to ask you, man, it's mm -hmm. um, about the theory. I'm preparing a theory for the channel, uh, and I wanted your opinion on it. Soon, the, the the viewers will be able to see it if they visit the channel. So it has to do with Yamato being broken, and mm -hmm. the, the whole thing is me trying to explain. Like I'm doing a theory on how. Yamato ended up broken and one of the theories is that Virgil himself did it really so what do you think about this whole thing it's I think that's interesting I am going to wait and I am obviously going to be waiting in anticipation I'm going to be watching that the moment it drops because I'm curious how you're going to carry that out I don't know how you're going to carry out that endeavor. I'd need to hear more about it to make a full analysis. But his intentions are quite unclear. So I think there's a lot of room for discussing on that. I managed to put things together based on DMC5 and also based on DMC3 where we left off about Virgil trying to fight Mundus and the whole thing. But th that's... That's a thing that I will explain in the video. I just wanted to hear, hear w what you think. Just, just, what I, just what as I a per, thought. What I personally think about the idea in terms of do you, do I think it's a possibility or do am I like yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh. what, do you think that it's something that certainly is plausible or certainly. something yeah. that is completely insane? I mean, no. it's a little bit insane, but I mean, we're all there's a, a possibility. Crazy. Yeah, we're all a little crazy. Just me and you a little more than others. Yeah. I, was, I was personally thinking on my way home, and this is my final analysis for DMC5. This is where my chips uh, lie. I have a weird feeling that the corrupted Virgil that we've seen, right, when he comes and takes Nero's arm, I have a weird feeling that though that is obviously Virgil's shell and, that it's his body the hood yeah i believe a part of me feels like mundus took virgil's body and mundus is in possession of virgil and somehow transforms his body into what we see as urizen right and then it's so here's what i'm going with this is a little crazy so it's like i believe that because obviously mundus possessed him so i'm thinking that it's a possibility that Mundus is in the corrupted Virgil and somehow makes a transformation to Urizen. Maybe that's what the fruit and the demon tree. And that V is contractually borrowing Virgil's powers in an attempt to help him or oh some, my somehow connect. Oh my him. god, man. Oh <laughs> my god, with this theory. You now we're taking it to a different that's my, level. That's my final analysis. That's my final thought. I thought about that on my way to work. Until, until at some point I was following, because if anyone out there haven't seen the, um, the leak, uh, it's like, I'm going to say something about it, but, spoiler alert, <laughs> but in one of the uh, scenes, V saying to Nero, Urizen, th this is the demon that got your arm. So it makes sense if, right. if it's just Virgil's shell and not the right. person himself right that is obviously it's controlled because then that th exactly then that sentiment yeah, that would, that makes sense what you're saying true. makes a total sense <laughs>
that would make the most sense to me. So, but we we got on air another theory from <laughs> another theory just from <laughs> from nowhere. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just because we know we're running out of time, uh, the last two questions on. February 7th, we are getting uh, a multi-platform this time demo for DMC5. So right. Team Wi-Fi, which, which platform? Xbox or PS4? PS4 or all the way. All, all right. <laughs> That was I was hoping to hear. <laughs> I'm nice. planning on doing, uh, I'm buying it for PC too, so that way I can play around with some of the mods. Um, But I'll be buying, as far as consoles go, I'll be buying it on PS4 first. I'm a PC and a PS4 gamer as well. But do you have any any special like any special plans that you're planning for the um, demo, or do you prefer playing the demo, or do you want to wait for uh, for the full release? How 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 do you think of it? No, I'm definitely playing the demo. I intend, provided that you are both willing. I have a member of my Discord by the name of Mr. Mangler, where we'll be discussing our thoughts on the demo and Devil May Cry in general. And I hope to see you there as well. I know I'm just now inviting you to this, but we're gonna, that's the plan. I want to do that. Awesome. And, yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, PS4 is then. And last question. What do you think of the idea on having an actual DMC movie? I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm not talking about the plot, but The, the characters to see the characters and uh, in general what we know as DMC to see it on the big screen what, what do you think I would love that now personally a lot of times video game movies historically have been pretty bad yeah and that's just because either budget or the person that's running it doesn't have a very good understanding of the game itself um, Hence why Adi Shankar wanted to take up DMC for an anime adaptation, because he felt like it was done a disservice. So my thoughts on the matter is I would love to see it. I would absolutely love to see it as a fan. Um, but I would be also a little worried. <laughs> All right, but if we if we end up having another anime like the the one I don't remember what it was 2000 and 13, I'm, I'm not quite sure about what, what was the actual anime, but it was pretty awesome with Ruben Langton voicing Dante. So if you have something similar based on the events from DMC5 prior to the release, that would be awesome. I would enjoy that, for sure. All right, um, I think we pretty much covered most of the stuff that I wanted to, with this podcast, and it's getting very late on my end. And I know you're, really, you're a busy man too. So before we sound out, where people can find Jojo Wi-Fi? Where are the, um, the platforms that can find you? Um, I have a link to my Instagram, which I'm sure Tichelle will be more than accommodating I mean, for. Obviously, um, obviously. He's a part of my Discord. You can, guys can reach me there quite easily. And of course, you can also subscribe. I highly recommend you do the same for Tichelle. Go give the man a check out. He's also on Instagram. I'm pretty sure you're on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, what I was going to say. Uh, subscribe, obviously, to Jojo uh, if you haven't already, and help him reach the next milestone and join the awesome team Wi Fi. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it's, it's awesome, man. I can't lie about it. I appreciate uh, you having me on here, man. Anything else that you want to say before I make the uh, outro? No, just thank you. Thank you so much, honestly. And all sincerity for having me on here. It's good talking uh, it's, with you. The, the pleasure was full mine. Uh, so much fun. It was Actually, it was the first time that I'm doing something like this, and I enjoyed it so much. That, that, that's, that's everything, man. Thank you again. Th thank you for all the things that you're doing for me and for the whole community. And uh, everyone will continue watching uh, Jojo Wi-Fi. No problem, man. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is me, Jojo Wi-Fi, and I'm signing out. All right. So I really hope that everyone's going to have an amazing day or night, whatever you're going to do. Thank you so much for watching this DMC5 podcast with Jojo Wi-Fi and Chele, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.